I actually wasn't diagnosed correctly. I had glasses made and the optician, I said when I tried them on, I can't see that any better. He said, I oh, will just go home and concentrate and, and get used to them, but it never worked. Had it been diagnosed earlier, like two or three years earlier, I could have most probably done more, but um, anyway, then it deteriorated very quickly. My husband used to read the newspaper to me each morning. I can't read at all. We did cycling before and lots of things together, tramping and all that, so that he softened the blow a lot. And then he got ill himself, so my, I concentrated on him then, because he's such a lovely, loving person. Um, it was, and we didn't realise that he had limited time. I mean, I thought I'd, when my husband died, I'd never laugh again, that's how bad I felt. So it takes you quite a bit to pull yourself up and, and uh, go off again. After my husband died, it struck home because all of a sudden I couldn't move around like I used to and just the normal things like opening a can of something or um, going to the grocery shop to try and get something and lugging stuff home. And the thing I felt most was my inability. I thought I was incapable of doing this and doing that and it becomes a big issue for the first time in your life and you suddenly realise. And you also, you are grieving. There's a hell of a lot of grief, really. Well, in my case, because we had just a wonderful relationship. We were very, very lucky. That's the thing no one wants to lose, is their independency. Believe you me, that's everything. Well, if it hadn't been for the Blind Foundation, I wouldn't be in the situation I am today. I wouldn't be in the health I am and the vision I have and the determination I have because they have given me the tools and the mechanisms and also the wonderful um, contribution of people. I don't think a lot of people are aware of the opportunities and the services they have available because I was one of those people who just thought, well, how am I and people are blind and they've got a walking stick and you've got no idea of the amount that is, is done for you and the services available. I just can't thank them enough. They've been absolutely incredible. I mean, I'd never been to a gym in my life before. I'd always been fit and kept myself well, but we've had, you know, I've done the cycling from Otago Rail Trail. I've done Outward Bound with them. I've done the uh, marathon, um, and we've done a couple of boot camps, and we do, they facilitate so much. I wouldn't be here sitting with you today if it wasn't for the help and guidance I've had from the New Zealand Foundation of the Blind. They have been my rock. <laughs>